Hello, uh, welcome to this video of the Audi A3 1.5 TFSI petrol S-Tronic automatic S-Line. So this is a 2018 registered vehicle. It's in very, very good condition. Uh, very low mileage as well, just 33,000 miles uh, on the 18 reg. Uh, it's got the 18 inch alloy wheels as well. Bright red paintwork. It's got the gloss bike wing mirrors start on this wing mirror condition so very clean no chips or anything like that uh, the windscreen very clean it's a gradual tinted top windscreen as well you can see the first four or five inches there got the gradual tint it's got the rain and light sensor there as well uh, it has also got the s-line badging it's a nice shiny bright red paintwork the paintwork is immaculate alloy wheels are very clean all the alloy wheels and the diamond cut face as well brake discs are in very good condition as well there's no grooves or lips on those all the tires are very good as you've already seen in the photos as well all the tire treads are six or seven mil okay led headlights and rear lights as well led and xenon as well also got these washer jets there so there's washer jets behind that panel there that's your washer jets that's your towing um, eye cover that one as you can hear the engine just purring away originally from JCT 600 Audi of Lincoln that's where this was registered uh, the front very clean no stone chips on the bonnet very very clean very clean indeed and the bumper very clean LED lights there's no dents or scratches on that bonnet corners of the bumpers as well very clean alloy wheel very clean that wing very clean Obviously, it'll only be an 18 plate, it won't have any rust developing on this one at all. You see, S line badging, the wing mirror there, the glass this side very clean, no chips or cracks. Uh, the roof very clean, all the glass is nice and clean, even the shiny high gloss black piano trims are all nice and shiny, not scratched. Uh, and these window surrounds are also de chromed and in the gloss black. So, if you look back, the window surrounds are not the chrome these are the black ones same as the wing mirrors bottoms of the doors all very clean as well no tar spots anywhere on the paintwork all very clean that wheel arch there as well all very clean the alloy wheel nice and clean the reverse parking sensors you can see there reverse parking sensors led rear lights as well the tailgate is nice and clean. It's got the diffuser as well. Pretty diffuser down there. All the lights are nice and clean. There's no cracks or condensation. Uh, the reflectors are not nice and clean as well. There's not cracked or damaged. Paintwork up there is immaculate. The rear boot spoiler. Got the DAB aerial as well. So it's DAB radio, that alloy wheel, and then inside the fuel flap, all nice and clean, petrol fuel flap, even the rubber string is still attached, it's not broken off. That rear door and rear arch there, there's no damage at all there, everything is nice and tidy. That door there, driver's door, all very clean. Okay, so that's the outside of the vehicle covered. Just get the roof this side. The uh, A-pillars there. The glass, obviously, privacy glass pipe. There's no scratches on the glass, etc. Let's start in the boot. So in the boot, first thing you'll notice, it's got the variable height boot, boot floor. So at the moment, it's set at low, and you can put that on that shelf there so you get another three or four inches. So we can lift this panel up there and we can lift it oops and gone that's it onto that level there so it's got a variable boot floor so down here you've got a slimline space saving spare wheel uh it's also got the subwoofer that's the subwoofer that's the plug for the power for the subwoofer and it is the uh, d and m sound system d and m okay so that's subwoofer there with the uh, s-line package there's a luggage net there which you can use the jack and brace 
uh, and the first aid kit as well. And then little cubby holes either side. There's your locking wheel nut there. Cubby holes there, some shopping bag hangers there. There are the shopping bag hangers as well. Then split fold rear seats, you can see 6040. This is all nice and clean. The plastic trim there is in good condition and there's the bumpers green as well. Up here you've got a warning triangle behind this flap here. This is a warning triangle. All this is nice and clean up here. The parcel shelf is here as well. All the strings are attached and nothing's broken on both sides. So that's all nice and clean. Let's go to this side. So in the rear, this side, all nice and clean. All being properly valeted. It's got the brushed aluminium uh, trim there. All the door shuts are nice and clean as well. Uh, half leather interior, three headrests at the back, three full size seat belts, and it's also got the child Isofix anchoring points for two kids' seats as well. Uh, very clean, doesn't smell of smoke, doesn't smell of dogs either. Uh, 12 volt there and some air vents, luggage nets are all nice and tight, not loose and saggy. Fitted carpet set as well with the clips. So, front ones are out at the moment and they are being uh, washed at the moment, they're drying out. So, the front car mats will be back in when they're dried out. That side's all nice and clean. Door shuts. Immaculate, oh, only 33,000 miles. It, it, it is in 33,000 mile condition. Passengers front, I don't know if you can see there the Audi rings. So it's got the um, Audi rings from the from the little LED lights there. So at night time, that'll light up bright. You can see them moving move the door. That's the Audi rings. So someone's added that on. All the door shuts are nice and clean. All the panels. That door shut there, nice and clean. The front seats are the sport seats as well. This is the same type of seat you'll find in an Audi S3 as well. So it's got the S line badge there, emboss badge. It's got the passenger's height adjustment for the front as well. So it's the front height and the rear height as well on this one. So we've got two uh, height adjustments. There's sport seats with the extended front leg bit there. And it's also got the S. Um, these are illuminated kick plates, so they're illuminated at night. So it's all illuminated. And that door's shut in nicely as well. It is HPI clear, so it's free from any insurance claim or accident claim from the insurance companies. HPI clear. Apart from the, I think it's had a private plate on. It's just having the private plate taken off at the moment, so that's take, being taken off now. A private plate. The electric heated wing mirrors four electric windows and the child locks as well so you can lock uh, either side on that so when that button you press that button it locks the window and the door operation as well from the internal being open that door is very clean even down to the pockets there look nice and clean all down there got the aluminium pedals are standard let's move this piece of paper it's nice and clean like I said before the car mats the front ones have just been jet washed and cleaned and they're drying out inside the showroom they will be fitted back in that illuminated S plate there. All that plastic there is nice and clean. All that door shut there is nice and clean as well. The rubber around the door is not worn or broke, breaking away. Uh, the S embossed seat, obviously for the driver's seat and the leather bolster there, that's in good tidy condition that for the mileage. Very good tidy condition. Let's, let's hold the camera there. So a very nice place to be. You can see it's got a flat bottom sports steering wheel, the pop-up screen in the middle and the S-Tronic automatic gearbox lever. So we've got automatic lights, two keys, remote sensor locking keys. Let's just get in. So the steering wheel, we've got the uh, controls, the nav controls, the voice command, S badge, cruise control, so that's the cruise control there. That's an extra, believe it or not. Uh, automatic lights, of course, and then the pop-up screen, which you can Use this button here to press once and the screen pops away like that, folds away all nice and neatly. Press it again like so and it pops up. So that's the sat nav on at the moment. So that's on nighttime mode because it's got the side lights on. Switch the side lights off and it goes into daytime mode. So that's the daytime mode. And then if we put the telephone, it's got the telephone uh, and then media, you can play your tunes via your phone as well. Uh, the radio is the DAB FM. 
to turn that down. This is the uh, DAB or FM radio. I've uh, also got the main menu on this, which has got extra features like the car. So you can put this into efficiency mode, comfort, auto, dynamic or individual driving modes. So basically, if you want to go faster, you press dynamic uh, and that will select the dynamic mode. And that will obviously make the engine rev higher before it changes up a gear to make it go faster and use more fuel, basically. OK, so get out of there. You've got the other things like the sound system. So you can obviously change everything, the sound effects as well on there as well. So you've got it on uh, all. Let me go back here. Speed dependent. So all these things, bass, treble and fader. Go back there. All sorts of media, telephone, navigation, map, uh, Audi concert, Audi Connect, that one. So that's for the internet to connect to that uh, settings as well. Audi smartphone, all those extras are all there. So up down here, stop start button on and off. If you don't like the stop start coming on, uh, traction control, which no one ever touches. Um, traction control, although sometimes if you're stuck, is a tip. If you're stuck in the snow and traction control is on and you keep to be you seem to be sliding around not getting anywhere try press that button and drive the car without the traction control and you may find it's better okay so that's just a little tip it may find it better so uh here we've got the dual zone climate control so you've got your left and right temperature settings obviously air conditioning uh, as well air recirculation down here we've got a 12 volt and you've got drinks holders there as well s-tronic gear lever with the normal modes there as well don't forget you've also got your paddle shifters on your steering wheel so you've got your paddle shifters so you can use this as a paddle there are your controls for the uh, multimedia you've got uh, auto hold assist as well so that means the car will not roll backwards when you're on a steep hill it will hold for about three to five seconds uh, so it's got hold assist that's what it's got that's electronic parking brake inside the armrest is your usb ports there you don't know if you can just see that two usb ports there as well for your music input and your power charging also this armrest is a sliding one so this is an extra so it slides forwards and backwards it's a sliding armrest uh what have you also got i think yeah it should have the anti-glare rear view mirror as well on this one uh it's got the black roof line in has it got the yes it should have yep so you've got the illuminated vanity mirror for the front passenger as well uh and that is about it so we're just taking this for a service now so it has got the audi service history until uh last year last year was january uh it had this uh, service at this mot garage and it had a, a quite a lot done it also had the uh, what you call it filters cabin filter air filter and it also had these spark plugs that's it platinum spark plugs so that spark, spark plug change um is every five years or uh forty thousand miles so they did that at five years old uh, in January, they did the uh, service with the spark plugs as well to make sure it was right. How much was that service? So that one was quite an expensive one. £346, that service. So we're just having the oil service done by our Audi specialist garage as well. So that will be recorded on the Audi database. So that will be uploaded to the Audi servicing database as well. The MOT is long until November 2024. So you've got a good sound system. I can't put the sound system on because it's... You can't really hear it through the camera phone, should we say? But you know, you've got a subwoofer in the boot. You've got the tweeters up here. You've got these big speakers up here as well. Uh, so this is a really good sound system. I'm going to pull the bonnet there, bonnet catch, and then show you underneath the um, engine bay, so you can see see what that looks like as well. So it's the 1.5 timing chain engine, the TFSI. So no rubber belt to change on this one. So it's the uh, timing chain, and then we've got this anti-freeze is there, screen wash, the battery. Battery's even got a little warm jacket look to keep it warm in the winter, as it's absolutely freezing here today. It's about one degrees. So yeah, okay. So that's all nice and tidy up here as well. Nice and tidy. Like I say, it's HPI clear as well. Uh, good to see. Whoever service it last has got some copper grease on the uh, hinges there, which is very important. It closes with ease. It's a very, very tidy car. So if you've got a part exchange, please let us know the mileage at the full reg number and we'll carry out a live auto trade evaluation based on the live data of what your car will be worth as a part exchange. 
Uh, we do the finance as well. We are FCA registered, so we can carry out your finance for you uh, on a pa different panel of lenders. And the interest rate will be based on your credit score. So if you've got a good credit score, you're going to get a low um, interest rate. If you've got a uh, so if you've got a bad credit score, you're going to get a high interest rate, unfortunately. Okay, so any more questions, please drop us a line. Otherwise, hope you enjoyed the video and hope to see you soon. Thank you very much.